Welcome to Baby and Us, a series of short videos to help you feel calm, confident and connected with your new baby. My name is Susanna. And I'm Leah. And we'll also be joined by some of our amazing parent group leaders who will share real life experiences with their own babies. So we've come to the end of our videos now and first I want to say thank you and well done for taking the time out to have a look at the videos, use the handouts, pause and think about some of the things that maybe you're struggling with that the videos might have helped you with. But what I want you to really remember is, is that there's no such thing as a perfect parent and that we're all striving to be good enough. So I want you to take some time to smile and think about how well you've done and to acknowledge that and to say, yes, I'm good enough and I've, I've done that really well. We want to take a bit of time to think about what you want to do to take forward some of the ideas that we've discussed. Um, so to do that, we're going to have a bit of a think about what might be available for you in your local community, wherever you're watching this, what things would come to mind. So just have a moment and think about that. One of the best resources I had when I had my children was the library because the library is such a wealth of knowledge and they used to do a rhyme time session on a regular basis. The library came with lots of posters and different things that I could read and see what else I could move on to from there, whether it be another session or something else that would be relevant. Yeah, that's really important actually because it is once you start getting out into the community and accessing some of these services, it opens doors to other um, support in different places that might be available. Um, I know when my daughter was little we went to quite a lot of sessions at children's centres, um, so I went to a baby massage course, I did a baby first aid course um, at, the, at the children's centres near us and there were a lot of stay and play sessions which um, I really liked because it was just something to kind of go and, and meet other parents. Um, I think it's worth looking into other community groups so um, close to me there's lots of churches that run parent and toddler groups or parent and baby groups and then the other thing to think about is you know outdoor spaces so local parks or you know if there's any green spaces near you find out where you can go um, where you can actually take the baby quite easily. The children's centre undoubtedly was uh, for me a lifesaver um, for all sorts of reasons just to get out of the house have a cup of tea talk to other mums um, and, and socialise my child. I, I'm a big fan of baby club. I used to go like four or five times a week. Sometimes I used to go twice a day <laughs> because um, the activities there were some things I wanted to do. I found a friend. We used to have, you know, that friend and their baby over for a little coffee morning and then rotate it between the two mm. Of us so that it was like a regular thing for babies to be able to see each other as well as interact on in a different environment so that was quite nice and it's just about finding some things that are free that you don't have to feel that you have to go to and have to pay money for. The other thing we wanted to mention was online communities so a lot of areas have a Facebook group that's set up for parents um, for local parents and putting the feelers out on those groups can be really helpful just asking um, other parents what they would recommend of places to go and things to try um, so that can be really helpful as well um, really there's loads of resources available online it, it can be difficult to wade through them but I know that there are um, quite a few things like music groups and, and things like that that are running through Facebook um, that you um, some of them you have to pay for but quite a few of them you don't. The BBC Tiny Happy People website has got some really fantastic resources on it as well for things like activities you might want to try at home um, with your baby so I would recommend having a look at that website as well. I want you to think about how you can use some of the strategies in the videos that you've seen to give it a go whether it be go for that walk and find somebody else to talk to, whether it's look for the links in the community, whether it could be engaging in an online activity, identifying the support that you might need, and as always, is continuing to look after yourself. 
So we're going to finish with a song and um, the song that I'm going to sing today is Zoom, 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 which is one of my daughter's absolute favourites. And it's a really nice fun one because you can be quite physical with them. So off we go. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we'll get there very soon. In five, four, three, two, one, zoom! <laughs> there we go. Very good, well done. I hope this has been useful. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Bye.